Hello guys, I'm so excited that finally I have just received my new book, The Bible of Bodybuilding. It's a book that consists of 400 pages. You can purchase this book on Amazon, and this book contains my format of books, the PDs using sports and the good, the bad, and the ugly, plus the training to use supplementation, but also including extra features, Q&As about gear, about HRT, but also a quiz regarding supplements, and diet, and of course, PDs. So the Bible of Bodybuilding on Amazon, both on ebook and uh, Kindle version. Hey everybody, welcome to Ask Dr. Testosterone, starring Dr. George Tuliatos, brought to you by his book, The Bible of Bodybuilding, everything you need to know right in there. It's on Amazon.com, and if you're on Amazon, you should get my book too, because it's such a great book, Real Bodybuilding. And now, all the way from Athens, Greece, please welcome Dr. George and Tuliatos. How are you, doctor? Hello, Ron. Um, it's been three years now, huh? Yeah, we just figured out before we started recording, I think uh, three years ago, I think we started this right around the time Brandon Curry won the 2019 Arnold Classic. Yes, yes. It might have yeah. been, been that very week. I'm not sure now. Wow. The week after, actually, yes. Yeah, yeah. And I was looking at old material because we're going to be doing an article on you in Muscular Development Print Magazine. The first yeah. interviews we did were 2018. Uh, yes. We interviewed you. We interviewed you and Thomas together, Thomas O'Connor. So it's, it's been it's been going on four years altogether. You've been part of, uh -huh. you, yeah. You've been with MD a while. <laughs> All right. All right. We got some questions for you. And guys, your questions, please leave them in the comments below. We will get to most of them. Please don't message me on Instagram with your questions. I want you to interact with us right here on the YouTube channel because that's uh, that's the main reason we're here on YouTube. Subscribe, like, share, and leave comments. So with all that, here's a good question. A lot of us worry about interactions between medications we might be using in gear. So the first gentleman says, Doc, I'm using fluconazole for my toenails right now, which I believe this is an antifungal medication. Yes. Yes. Uh, I plan on blasting soon, based with test and equipoise. And I want to add some Winstrol later on. Is the Winstrol going to have a negative effect on the fluco fluconazole, 150 milligrams? If so, is it the same with all other oral steroids? So I looked up this medication and he, among the side effects is uh, lipid disruption. So mm. it's not a good idea to use steroids and especially some inoculated oral. So wow. you can just use perhaps testosterone that's not liver toxic. And for a brief period of time, some other steroids injectable, but not, not in high dose, you know. But certainly Winstrol is among the, uh, the hardest on the liver. Right. So this fluconazole, like I don't know. Do you have to keep using this forever or is it just like a, a short term use to get rid of the fungus? Yes, exactly. It's a brief period of time. So why doesn't uh, just, just wait till you're done with the with the fungus till it's all better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good idea. And blast all the steroids you want. No, we wouldn't tell you that. OK, uh, this one says in Greek, Yazoo. This is from Sako, your buddy in yeah. Boston who I met. Cool guy. Uh, I've been dieting along with TRT, 160 milligram cypionate weekly. There's been a lot of hype about terkesterone and ectosterols. What are your thoughts about implementing this as a supplement for my goals? That's his first question. So for somebody who uses already testosterone, this is totally a waste of uh, money, you know, because he, you already have testosterone. These supplements, the sterols are testosterone boosters. So for natty people mainly, okay? Mm. And people, for instance, uh, that do athletics, that they give uh, anti-doping control tests, you know, yeah. so they take. Uh, so uh, it's not for you. It's something that uh, it's not going to have an impact because you already take testosterone. Mm. Yeah, I mean, a lot of talk about this terkesterone because, you know, people are always looking for the next big thing. So I don't know if yeah. it is. Uh, he has a second part of his question. Can I implement, implement creatine as a supplement? If so, how long should I cycle on and off? Absolutely, a year round, five grams. Just watch out your creatinine levels and hydrate a lot. And do not cycle on and off or loading. Just use maintenance dose of five grams post-workout creatine monohydrate, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can lower your red meat consumption because 
you take a chosenous creatine, okay? Yeah. So uh, I guess uh, five grams post-workout with uh, 50 grams of uh, dextrose or maldodextrin is the ideal environment to absorb uh, the creatine monohydrate. Cool. Do doctor, has you been, have you had any trouble getting creatine these past few months? There's like a shortage over here. We're having a lot of the supplement well, companies are sold out. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're back ordered. You can't get creatine. Like I haven't used creatine now in about two months because I just can't get any. It's terrible. Mm. I'm going to lose all my gains. Luckily, I'm on a bunch of gear, so I'm fine. All right. Next one from Gus Pulos. Hello, doctor. I've been blasting and cruising for the past five years and a recent calcium score of 20 on my latest blood test has my doctor very worried. Is this too high of a calcium level for me to continue anything other than TRT? Yes, I guess. Uh, uh, of course, below 100 is moderate. The point is, oh, oh. if you already have 20, what do you expect to be over 100 or to be 200? Mm -hmm. So take it easy. And uh, the best thing you do is just take off from, get off from everything and just maintain on replacement therapy to testosterone. Okay, uh, enough with the gear that you took already. Uh, five years blasting, you know, and I guess so. You have already established a small calcium score, and perhaps you should use a statins, vitamin uh, K2, also um, eat clean and just take off all the gear and just use testosterone for your own good, you know, mm. because uh, this is an early sign that you take it under consideration. Yeah. Do you, are you familiar with the bodybuilder Antoine Vaillant from Canada? Yeah. Yeah. He's had some really bad heart, heart scan results lately. So he's at a, he's at a point where he needs to figure out what he's going to do. Great kid. Mm -hmm. I, I just hope he's going to be healthy. Um, okay. Uh, what for, before I ask this, West, this next question, methyl trianolone, which, which steroid yeah. is that? What's that? The M3 is the tremble of derivative. They're really, very anabolic and very endogenic and very liver toxic. What do they call it's it? Very, it? It resembles hollow testing, you know, okay. but it's uh, real. The devil itself, it comes in one milligram only. They call it M3? Yeah, M3. It doesn't aromatize. Okay. It's very notorious in weightlifting, okay. you know, and um, bodybuilding, of course, uh, just before the show. I've never even heard of it, so I'm a dope. So this gentleman says, another compound, I'd like your views and opinion on is methyltrianolone the injectable version? How long would you use it? Yeah. How long would you run it? At what dose? He has. I've sourced some at four milligrams per milliliter. Thank you. I never use it. I know somebody used it in, in injectable form. Supposedly, the injectable is less toxic. Hmm. It does not aromatize. Also, um, and according to Bill Welling. Uh, if you go more than a month in one milligram, you're going to develop jaundice, you know? Wow. So very liver toxic. So stay out of trouble. Yes. Can you imagine how, yeah. how strong this must be if it's the concentration is only four milligrams per milliliter? Because we're always dealing with 200 milligram, 250, 300 milligrams per milliliter with regular, all the injectables that I see on a regular basis. Unless yeah, it sounds scary. It sounds scary. Rob. Four how milligrams. Some so yeah, I'll stay away. I don't need it. Okay, I bet some people would inject the whole bottle at once, you know. I'm sure there's quite a few that would do that, believe me, especially uh, if they're very impatient. So you mentioned statins. This next question is, which statins have less side effects and could be used by a moderate HRT user? No, uh, my brother-in-law is a cardiologist, so he suggests that Rovostatin, the Crestor, you take Lipitor, which is another statin, in right. 10 milligrams. Now Crestor comes in 5 milligrams. But you know, um, I used statins for two weeks. And right after I had so much severe pain you know, in my muscles. Hmm. Man, it felt like I was not recovering, like I was natty, you know? Wow. Huh. Yeah, so you pay the price. And this also reflects on the liver because when the muscles uh, are broken down, you know, the liver is affected. Hmm. Wow. So how, what dose were you on? Well, I was only on five milligrams for two weeks. Hmm. And right after leg season, you know, my doctor was so sore, man. Like I was riding, I was riding a horse for a whole day, you know. Hmm. 
Now you got me worried. Maybe I should stop taking my statin. Oh no. No, no. <laughs> if you wanna, if you wanna give it a, a while, a drop, you know, and you, you can replace statin with red rice yeast, for instance, because it's a plant-based um, supplement. You know that works very really similarly to statin, mm -hmm. and this is my compound. So I bet you're gonna feel very good in terms of recovery and sort of, you know, in your muscles hmm. because you're doing like a mania. Yeah, I mean, I don't get sore to the point where it's uh it's debilitating or anything like that but i don't know you hear so many bad things about statins but i don't want higher cholesterol and i don't want you know i'm trying to protect my heart too so yeah i bet if you take off all the deca you wouldn't need any lipitor wow hmm. is it only is it only de it's what a, so deca deca it's the is the main in the long element. term it may yeah you may elevate your ldl and your cholesterol in the long mm. term yes mm. but not okay. testosterone for sure Okay, cool. Well, I'm, I ain't stopping the test. So, ah, oh, you just you just mentioned nandrolone. Here we go. Nandrolone raises aldosterone. Are other are there other steroids that also do that? Actually, all the steroids do that. That's why steroids elevate blood pressure. Oh. Now, uh, DEC also <clears throat> is notorious for this fluid retention. You know, this puffiness, but this is useful in the joints. Testosterone also can do that. Perhaps the aromatization also is, is beneficial, but uh, Winstrol does not uh, do that. That's why Winstrol is ideal for precontents because it doesn't retain aldosterone and no water retention, and there's no subcutaneous fluid. Mm. But on the other hand, you don't have protection to the joints when you use Winstrol. Yeah. A lot of people complain about creaky, painful joints when they're on Winstrol. Yeah. yeah and that's, that's no way to live either. Boy. Uh, so this next question, he's asking about Tostran gel. Is that must be a, a trade name, a brand name for some kind of testosterone gel, I'm guessing? Yeah, we have it in Greece, 2%, yes. Okay, so this gentleman wants to know, where's the most absorbable place to apply Tostran gel? Now, if you're ripped, you can do it anywhere, in your thighs, in your abs. But usually sedentary people, the thinner skin is in the forearms and in the wrists. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. why they wrap it over here. Yeah. Now, her dog is a... He's a doctor in Belgium. He says over here in the jugular veins. <laughs> the jugular. Well, obviously, after you shave, yes. Wow. So go right into your jugular. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. I but wonder... certainly, if you, if you are overweight, not in the chest, not in the abs, not in the thighs, because you you're really fat over there, and it's not going to be absorbed. No, there's no veins. Yeah. You you made a good point about the shaving too, because if you're a very hairy person. I don't think you'd want to put the, the gel on someplace where there's a bunch of hair because a lot of it's just going to get stuck in the hair. Yeah, and also in your balls, but you have to shave your balls. <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, they have a product called Manscape. Manscaper? Oh, the, no, no, the lawnmower? It's called the lawnmower. It's for guys here. I don't know. Where, I've, I think it's a US made thing. It's specifically made just to shave your like pubic hair. It promises it won't cut you, but I'm. I don't like those, but the idea of cutting yourself down there, cutting your scrotum, bleeding, mm, bad, 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 scary. All right. So now that we talked about shaving your balls, last question is, doctor, is it possible for a testosterone test to come out abnormal due to the use of DECA durabilin? For example, does the test identify DECA as testosterone? No, we said that before. It doesn't happen. Hmm. It doesn't happen. No, perhaps the estrogens may elevate but not the testosterone. Now, um, <clears throat> usually the steroids crash on SHBG and they liberate the free testosterone. Yeah. But it does not interfere with the total testosterone. Okay. Um, yeah, because, you know, there are some people who use DECA for TRT. We've, you know, we... No, oh, come on. No, they no, they do. They really do. I'm not kidding. They add it. They add it because we said that testosterone is the ideal for replacement therapy because of the estrogen, the DHT, and the ratio one-to-one. -one. Mm. And it's not toxic, of course. Right. But seriously, substitute testosterone with something else, it's crazy. I, I think it's we crazy. We produce yeah. testosterone. We don't produce DECA. We don't produce TREN. We don't produce anything. All mm. those are derivative synthetics, you know? Right. Yeah, so if you're, you know, but I, think, I guess the good question is, if you're on test in DECA, like a, a lot of us are, your test levels are going to be very high on a on a blood on a blood test, so maybe that's what he's confusing it with. So if if I'm using just 200 milligrams of test, 
Am I going to show a higher concentration, a higher test level if I add in 200 milligrams of DECA? Or is it not going to change on my blood work? No, no, I don't think so. But it may reflect on your estrogens mm. and also your free testosterone because I said that androgens crash on SHBG. Mm. And then this reflects on a higher free testosterone. They are virtually related. Okay. Okay. But some people, that's why some people, when you use Winstrol or Anabar, they have super low SHBG and as a result, super high free testosterone. Mm. Okay. Makes sense. All right. Well, doctor, that is all our questions for now. It's been over three years of doing this, serving the, the world as you've been doing. So we all owe you a, little, a debt of gratitude. A I have to say, I have to admit that the, in this Arnold Classic, people uh, knew who I was, you know, even in the airport, yeah. people recognize me. Yes. And, they ask and I'm doing this to the MD family. Yes. And uh, yeah. I mean, I have been established now in the international market and my books were, are doing great. Uh, the sales have been doubled since I started the, the shows. You know, I was struggling by, by myself to promote right. my name. But I guess the advertising of a big brand like MD, you know, that has Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and Forum. Yeah. You know, it's, and of course, uh, it's, it's a brand name. Uh, then it's, it's, it's the best investment you can do. Yeah, Steve, Steve Blackman always points out, we have it's a it's a multi it's called advanced research media the, the parent company because we have all these platforms so yeah yes. trying to keep up with the 20 what century in 21st 21st century yeah <laughs> all right everybody if you have questions for next week's episode please leave them below in the comments please share the videos we like need to break we need to, to to invite monica brown okay uh, okay the legendary monica brown she invited me in here show i'm really thankful and we need to pay off this gesture. Did you do the show at the Arnold with her? Yes, at the Arnold Educational. It will be released uh, the next month, I guess. Okay. Yeah, because I was contacted by a gentleman uh, that works with her. Yes. Uh, Alex Cole. Yes. Per, per, yes. Yeah. So he asked me about maybe being a guest. And I said, well, I'd love to have Monica as a guest too. But let, we could do it on your show. Let's just do it on your show. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. right. Let's. I'll make it happen, Doc. I'll make the connections. We'll see. All right. All right, everybody, thanks for watching Ask Dr. Testosterone. We'll see you next time.